Hey everybody, welcome back to OCD Hi-Fi Guy. And um, today I've got something very unique for you guys. Um, we got a project here, we're doing, we're back to the active crossover. And um, what is going on here today is a shot at what many people will tell you is stupid, inadvisable, not possible, um, horrid, creepy, whatever you want to call it. And what that is, is I'm quad amping and I'm using all sorts of different amps, okay? So for the sub tower, I'm using one channel of the Roland 625S2. For the woofer, I'm using the other channel of the 625S2. For the mid-range out here, I'm utilizing the Nat Audio Magma M giant gigantic vacuum tube monstrous monstrosity and then for the tweeta right here the long ribbon tweeter i am using the agd vivace it's kind of tucked under there because we're at a premium for space but that's agd vivace extremely articulate piece that i'm using for the tweeter and i've chosen them each for their different reasons uh and that i think would make them the best at that their, their particular frequency uh, band and uh, and we'll see how it how it sounds in a second. Um, we'll, we'll be using it, of course, with the Nat Audio Magnetic Line Stage. That is uh, the eleven stereophonic, uh, the four-way uh, active crossover that's completely fully differential uh, and discrete, meaning no op amps. And uh, and then we're listening to the APL Hi-Fi DAC. Um, we do have a new addition here that I'm excited to try, which is the this is the Romulus, the uh, Aesthetics Audio Romulus, which is a, also a tube output DAC that's very well made. Uh, and so, um, also, there's a little something else that I wanted to add for you guys. Now, this is something, maybe i got to get in the light here and get a little more, a little more lighting, right? i got to learn about lighting. Um, uh, something that is, uh, I, I, I've got a couple little things, tidbits that I, I will give to you, and this is, something that I consider pretty valuable because this is something normally that I would hide with, with everything I got. You'd never, 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 never know uh, my sources, okay? And the, the people that I go to, the people that I rely on to make the th projects that I do sound first and sound excellent second. Um, for instance, um, we saw, and you guys know about the passive crossovers, Okay, yeah, I made it messy, right? But it's all high quality stuff. Okay, so this crossover is absolutely nothing like the one, that, the stock one that came with the MagnaPan 3.7i, which is what these are. Okay, these are really Mikey pans. Um, I've added a whole nother mid range that is a, a Bolander Grabner, so it's a BG Radia ribbon uh, to the Maggie. And. Uh, well, you'll see more of it. Um, I still have to put the trim and everything on it, but they sound phenomenal. Um, and, and there's one reason why they sound phenomenal, because of a crossover design, okay? The crossover that you see on back, these are very complicated mathematical type things, which I'm not that good at. Um, never liked math as a kid, still don't like it. Let's just count in hundreds, yo! No, I'm kidding. Um, so, uh... What I'd like to do and what I will do is I am going to let you in on what would normally be a secret, which is the man, the myth, the legend, who designed that crossover for me. What I did was I just read back some parameters. I took a microphone and I made some sweep tests on my frequency of the different drivers one at a time. I sent that information to him and he came back with a simulation that looked like it worked. And then he gave me a plan, and he drew it out, and all I had to do was just build it with whatever parts I wanted in those values, and damned if I didn't have the most phenomenal summing crossover for this setup, it was way beyond what I expected, okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to introduce Mr. Pete Schumacher. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> so here's Pete right here, and um, he is from Missouri. And he's uh, got an extensive background in doing some great work uh, with Vapor. Audio is where I met him. A uh, friend of mine, Ryan, who made some f phenomenal speakers together with Pete with the, with the crossovers. And uh, so um, 
Pete is available for any of you guys that are want to make a speaker of your own and you pick your drivers and you need to do the important part, the crossover part, you can involve Pete and you can pay him and he will make something for you. He will design something for you. Okay, he's or yes? you can or you can order pre-designed kits from DIY Sound Group, where myself and a number of other excellent designers have uh, put their uh, put their expertise up for uh, use. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah. so what was that called? DIY Sound Group. DIY Sound Group. You can buy kits. Okay, cool. Yeah, Speaker have, kits. Uh, yeah, properly designed uh, with the crossover, all that stuff. All the stuff. Yep. Okay, awesome. Okay, so there's a good way for all y'all to save some money is buy a kit and make it yourself. And they've already made some. They made some phenomenal kits. That's I think you told me about uh, some of them. Mm-hmm. So they made some kits. It's on, on, on DIY Sound Sound Group. Group. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'll I'll, I'll, I'll put that in, in, in like text uh, right yeah, right here. You guys will see it right there. <laughs> yeah, it's based in uh, Ohio. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And they can just mail order, right? Uh huh. Yeah. You can go okay. on there and browse around for different sizes kits. They got stuff for home theater, big PA's, down to little small bookshelves. Okay. Cool. Um, but yeah, if you're doing any kind of uh, custom stuff or you want to do another modification to a magna pan or something like that mm-hmm. yeah that's what uh, yeah man what I do. dig into the maggies <laughs> <laughs> oh i almost dropped i did drop the phone they hate me for that ah! no but actually i, I love them right? i love them. <laughs> okay you don't do okay. editing <laughs> <laughs> i don't edit no i don't edit that's right remember <laughs> so anyways okay so i will put up pete's information so if you ever if you get into a bind you're working on something you you, you know and you, you could use some consultation Pete is, is, is a good man like that. He has helped me through many a storm, that, uh, including what we just did today, okay, or last night, actually, and the night before, uh, which was to get these this, this room dialed in. We used um, some software here. I got this software off um, Parts Express. This is called the um, Omnimic. Omnimic. Yeah, Omnimic 3. And it comes with a, a kit with DATS 2 or something like that. It's something for a speaker, loudspeaker measurement tool. But it's, it's, it's easy enough. It comes with this microphone here, you see. It's a USB microphone. You get the software, um, but not the laptop, of course. And it's like 350 bucks. But, boy, I'm telling you, it's so worth it. You can, you can sit and measure. You, you hear the room response. You hear um, if you want to uh, measure drivers. You can do that as well with the other tools that are involved. And, uh, and so we set the crossover points. Uh, um, a lot different than I initially than, than we had initially than I had initially, uh, and um, all it takes is just data, you know, recording and listening and, and, and seeing what comes up on the on the response, and then appropriately changing, making the changes that you need to change. So we'll get to that a little bit later. But um, anyway, so that is 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 one of a few uh, things that I will offer to you guys. I'll be telling you little tidbits of information. People that uh, I hire or people that build for me, you know, obviously the amplifiers and stuff that I have my name on, I'm not the guy that's with the factory making those things, right? I commission them. So that means I go to somebody and I tell them what I want or I take an existing design of theirs and I change it and morph it into what I want and they build it for me. Uh, and, and, And it's an excellent way to buy, if, if you guys want to buy some excellent um, products and, and you want to, you know, not pay all the retail markup, it's an excellent way to do it. But the thing is, they're very hard to find because they're underground almost. They're not, uh, they're not people that advertise heavily. Uh, it's just sort of through word of mouth. And a lot of them have some pretty stunning backgrounds. So I'll be letting you in on a couple of those more, more of Mikey's tidbits uh, uh, to kind of to stoke you with some information that is useful. Uh, so anyways, um, that is it with, uh, uh, I will come back later. I just wanted to finish this little section. I will come back later and we'll do a little listening and, uh, and see what we got over here. So thanks for joining. See ya.